Hello guys. Now, as promised from the last video, and make sure you do see the last video before watching this one, we opened the tin for this collection. Now is the epic video. We're going to be opening 93 packets for this collection. Yes, you heard that right. 93 packets. Um, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got them in three piles here of 31 each. And... I guess we're just going to have to jump straight into this. Now make sure guys, you turn on notifications for uh, my channel. So you stay tuned for more uploads like this one. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe of course for more content. Um, I would recommend getting, I don't know, maybe a drink or a snack or something. Because this could potentially be a long video. And it may potentially run into two parts. I'm not too sure yet. But hopefully we can get a nice one long take. And yeah. Um, anyways, let's talk about the picture type packs. Here's the just the pack design in general, looking very, very nice. Um, here are the odds for the packs. Um, obviously, we're looking for the masters and the top masters. But yes, we got four picture type packs. Uh, we got this one with John Terry's Zlatan and Dai Zuba, I think that is. Uh, this one with PK, Barry, and Wagner Love. Uh, this one with Jeco, Casillas, and Julio Cesar. And this last one here with Iniesta, Lampard and Hamshik. But anyways, let's get straight down into this. Uh, let's move these other packets just to the side for a moment. We're going to start with this pile first. This is Latin pile. Um, and yeah, let's just jump straight into this. Um, we got a ton of packs to open. So this is going to be a long video, guys, as I said previously. But hopefully it will be an enjoyable one for you guys. Um, I'm, and I'm definitely excited to opening these packs as well. Um, and obviously I will be collecting this set as well. So if you do have any cards for trade that I will be needing, specifically some of the foil cards, such as Masters and Top Masters, for example, uh, please let me know. But anyways, first pack, we got Gattuso there. We have Danny Alves on the front, Sanya and Jansen. Um, and that's our first pack, a base pack, of course. Um, every pack you get six cards per packet. And... Um, well, as you just saw there, we can get the base packs. So, yeah. But anyways, this pack now, we've got an insert card, which is fantastic. Our first insert of this opening. And it will be... Um, the D... Uh, the D uh, fan's favourite card. So, first fan's favourite, pretty good card there. Um, and then we got Rene Adler, Kiel, Diara, Nazri and Hamshik. As our remaining base. Okay, on to the next one. We got uh, Groschkoit, Yoga, Mascherano, Dosena, Barry, and another insert card. This time it is Kleber, Rising Star. Let's just put these in another pile. Technically, they're kind of like base cards, those ones. Um, just a little bit better, I guess. Um, well, actually quite a bit better. Um, let's see how, how many packs it takes to get a Rising Star. One in every six. So yeah, it is quite better than the standard base pack. Anyways, next pack. Um, I think that's an insert card, potentially. First up, we got Dimitri Payet when he was at Lille. Wow, very, very interesting card there. We got Yaya Torre, uh, the Gilma, Jisung Park, Gregory Van Der Wiel, star player. So that's a very nice insert. And Cesc Fabregas base card there. So first star player of the opening, Gregory Van Der Wiel for Ajax. All right. Potential inserts, let's put at the back. Uh, first up, Ashley Cole there for Chelsea. Very nice. Nazri, base uh, duplicate now. Same with Hamshik. David De Gea there. And we got another inter, rising star, Danny Welbeck for Manchester United. I wouldn't say he's quite the star right now, though, to be honest. Now at Watford, I believe. And But what a player we have here. Alexandro Pato, player that never reached his full potential as well. Um... Yeah, but he was definitely not a bad player. Definitely much better than Welbeck, uh, without a doubt. And obviously his best spell in his career was definitely the one he had at AC Milan. How old is Pato, actually? I'm not too quite too sure. I don't even believe he's hit 30 yet, so who knows? 
um, what could happen with him. But we got Essien, R uh, Rubinho, Hugo, Ferdinand, Mikovic, and Sif Gorson. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, for Ajax. We're going to try and breeze through these packets, guys. Um, I don't want to have to make a two-part video. I'll just get everything done in this one video. Wow, we're struggling with this one. Okay, there we go. Alright, first card. Thiago Silva, when he was back at AC Milan. What a, what a player he was. Uh, Stienhofer, Ignacevic, Mesut Ozil, when he was at Real Madrid. Um, Anderson, and our next answer is Lucho Gonzalez, star player for Olympic Marseille. I'm not too sure what's happened to him, to be honest. I, I don't even remember him much as a player. Um, but yeah, and oh my god. Wow, as you guys can already see, we got one hell of an insert. Probably the best one we could get. Um, we're going to get in this opening. Xavi Hernandez, top master card. Wow, what a card. 100 in defense, 100 in attack, 105 in control. Yeah, wow, one absolutely fantastic card that is. Oh, wow, okay. Well, it looks like we got our best pool in this opening. Um, yeah, it will be quite difficult to beat that one. How many was that? One in every 60. So, yeah, we pretty much got the one that we needed um, in this opening. And, yeah, it just shows you how rare these um, top master cards are. You know, imagine that. One in every 60 packets. Just one. That is rare. Like, these cards are... Wow, they're something else. Um... We're on to our next pack. Uh, we got Luis Gustavo at Bayern. I didn't even remember he was there. Hernandez at, um, at Manchester United there. Nagatomo at Neonov. Rising star. I'm not sure what happened to him as well. But yeah, let's just take another look at this card. Um, yeah, very epic card there. I think there's his face in the background as well. Yeah, there it is. Um, very nice design card. Um, I would still say the master cards are better in design in my opinion. But still, that card looks absolutely fantastic. But anyways, on to the next one now. Hopefully we can get some Masters now in this opening. I would hope to maybe get... This may sound a little bit optimistic, but maybe like around 5, potentially. Uh, we got Lewandowski at Dortmund there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get 5. Uh, Zanetti for Inter as well. And, oh, fantastic card here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, star player when he was at AC Milan, of course. The first spell, at least. Obviously, he's back there now, but I believe only on a, like a six-month contract, I believe. Um, I think so, unless I believe if AC Milan got a Champions League the next season, um, they'll renew his contract. I, I can't quite remember. But hopefully, he does stay there, though, because Zlatan back in Europe is fantastic. Anyways, we've got a FIFA legend here, Dumbia. Schmelzer, Fuster, Fanny, Alvarez, and Roberto Soldado. Next packet in. We got Chelsea legend, John Terry, Thiago Silva again, Stian Hoffer, Vidic, Zarnev, and Wagner Love star player. Um, another star play in. We got quite a few good centre backs in that packet actually. Next up, Andres Iniesta, Cheju, Gonzalo Higuain, Lucio, Diara, and Topal. I believe those are all duplicates. Actually, I got those in the tin. If you wa if you watch the video um, for that opening. Next up, um, Olise for CSK. Subotic, Didi Yok, uh, Kedira, De Sanctis, and Diego Alves. Oh, we got an insert card this time around, another one. Um, this time it is Thomas Muller, fan's favourite card for FC Bayern. Um, yeah, what a fantastic player he is, of course. Definitely one of Bayern's best all-time players, without a doubt. Yeah, fantastic card there. Next up, Victor Valdez, David Villa, Di Maria, Dosena, and Gareth Barry. Wow, those three players there. Oh, Jesus, that is pretty pretty epic, to be honest. Um, 
I remember David Villa at Barcelona. The guy was an absolute machine for them. I remember that. In that Champions League final 2010-11 against Manchester United. I think it was 2010-11. I could be wrong then. But um, yeah, he was absolutely fantastic. And we got another fan's favourite card. This time Torresidas for Olympiacos. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, we got Kagawa, Costi, Niniesta again, Diara and Nazri. So we're, we're getting quite a few of the same um, cards here, as you can see. Um, so it looks like base cards were quite easy to get in terms of getting the same ones again. But then again, I think there's only 200 base cards in this collection to begin with. So it is pretty expected. We've got Subotic, as you just saw, Zapata, Villarreal and Rad Ratnitsky. Oh, we got another Inter, and this one looks like a very good one that I'm very happy to have gotten. It is Petr Cech, goal stopper for Chelsea. They're a fantastic goalkeeper, one of the best of all time, in my opinion. Yeah, he really was a fantastic keeper uh, for Chelsea. Then we got Melberg, Fernando Torres. That, that's really awesome there. Obviously, one of my favourite players of all time, to be honest. Really was a big fan of him when he was at Chelsea and Liverpool, of course, and Atletico, and pretty much everywhere he, where he was at. Um, we got, got a buying legend there, Philip Lahm, uh, Kershakov. Oh, that was the guy in the front of the pack at the minute, yeah, him. And we got, wow, another nostalgic player, Andre Arshavin. Those four goals he scored against Liverpool in, in a full game, I believe it ended. <clears throat> yeah, wow, what a player he was. Another player that I definitely enjoyed uh, watching play. Next up, we got Sal. Uh, Modesto, Rolando, Giggs, uh, Lasovic, and rising star Andre Schürrler. Another player with huge potential, never quite lived up to the potential he had. Um, but not to say that he was a bad player at all. The guy was absolutely fantastic for Leverkusen. Um, obviously, came to Chelsea. No, yeah, he came to Chelsea afterwards. I think, was it Chelsea? I'm pretty sure it was Chelsea, yeah. He had a pretty good spell there and then went to Wolfsburg, I believe. And yeah, he never quite reached that potential again. Went to Dortmund as well. And yeah, quite a, quite a lot of transfers he's made. But anyways, this next pack, we got Neuer there, as you saw. But um, the main insert, Tony Cruz rising star for Bayern. Wow, definitely one of the best German midfielders of this uh, decade, I would say. Really, well, not just, just German, but one of the best in general. Yeah. He definitely turned out to be quite a fantastic player. Uh, but next up, we got another Inter here, but this one, one of the better ones, I would say. Gareth Barry, fan's favourite card for Manchester City. So that's really good to get there. Um, we got Tosic, Muller, Bellucci, Diego Lopez there, wow. And Dimitar Berbatov for Manchester United. Another fantastic striker. Um, yeah, really was a good player for Man United. And of course... Uh, Tottenham it was as well he was at before he went to Manchester United but anyways in this next pack we got Grahovac Eric Abidal Nani, great player Pepe, um, the animal Renocia and our next centre is Eva Benega, star player for Valencia Can't, I don't actually quite know where he's at right now at the moment but if you guys know, uh, please let me know um, next up, we got another fan's favorite. Jesus, we're getting quite a few of these now. Giuseppe Rossi for Villarreal. Um, so that's great news to get. Uh, next up, we got John Terry, Silva, Sergio Aguero, 87 on attack there, as you can see. Very good. Crescito and Laurent Coscioni, who, I, as I can remember, didn't leave Arsenal on quite the best of terms, to be honest. Anyways, next up, we got an insert card there, so that's good. Uh, Ignacevic, Frank Ribery, Renat, Shamak, Belushi, and oh my god, wow, uh, that was unexpected. Ryan Giggs master card for Manchester United, and look at that design, absolutely beautiful design card there. And our first master card of this opening, that's absolutely fantastic, really chuffed with that, and especially a legend like he is, Ryan Giggs. Wow, that is really, really epic right there. 
Wow, this first batch of first one packs looks to be very good. It's going to be quite hard to beat this one, to be honest, I think. Uh, with a top master and a master card as well, a really good one. But next up we've got Matt Hummels um, at Dortmund, his first spell at uh, Dortmund, of course, now back there when previously he was at Bayern. Uh, Kiosling, Bosingwa, Cannavaro, Yaya Torre, and Willy, and when he was at Shakhtar Donetsk, wow. Damn, and just look at the trim there. Um, obviously, quite weird seeing him have hair like that when now we're just so used to seeing him with an afro, actually. So, yeah, I believe did he join Chelsea? I believe he joined Chelsea the following season, actually. Um, from from uh, this set, um, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong there, or was it the year after that? Can't quite remember, but yeah. Uh, next pack, we got our insert card, very good one. Edison Cavani at Napoli. I'm sure quite a few of you guys probably don't remember him being there, actually. Obviously, he's been at PSG for quite a while now. But I believe the transfer window literally right after this one. That's when he went to PSG. Or the one after that. But, yeah. Anyways, next up, we got Iniesta again. Cheju, Patrice Evra, Denisov, Rosicky. And our Inter looks to be a goal stopper. And it is... Uh, David De Gea goal stopper for Manchester United, another fantastic goalkeeper. Hasn't been in the best of form for Man United, but still, in my opinion, one of the best in the world. Um, yeah, he's proved it countless times before how many times he's saved Manchester United. Um, obviously, I think Manchester United definitely have gone a much better defence since since then, but still, he's still one of the best goalkeepers in the world, without a doubt. Um, but next up, we've got another Inter. Sal fans' favourite card for the Lille. So that's pretty good to get there. And base cards we got Constanzo, Janobi Mikel, Shamak, Belushi, and Lopez. I think we've gone this guy like four or five times now in this opening. That's crazy. Alright, on to the next pack. We got Dani Alves, Bassa, uh, Ricardo Cavallo, Guignac. Lescott and Rami, so a base pack there, unfortunately. Now, if for those of you guys wondering, will there be a binder update opening? Um, I would love to have made one, but unfortunately, I just can't find a binder online um, at all on eBay and at a reasonable price. Um, yeah, it's quite hard. Hopefully, I can get one, but if any of you guys have a binder or at least a checklist I would say not necessarily the binder but just the checklist um, just please let me know I'd be willing to trade for those for sure um, the binder is not really the problem or just getting the starter pack should I say I'm more just interested in getting the checklist and limited editions for this collection I'm not too interested in getting but if I could trade some then that would be great news as well uh, next pack though we got Steve Mandanda Ghost Hopper for Olympic Marseille and next up, we got Kovac, Voza, Bruno Alves. He was a pretty good defender. I remember him. Uh, Thomas Vermaelen and Sampanura. I've heard of this player before, um, but I can't quite remember where he where he was also at right now, or whether he's even still playing. To be honest. But anyways, last pack of the first thirty one packs. Um, let's see if we can end off with at least an insert card. Um, we got Kovac again, Voza, uh, Barutsky, uh, Bruno Alves. We're literally getting the same card here. Thomas Vermaelen, and wow, fantastic way to end the pack there. Eden Hazard, rising star for Lille. Oh my god, absolute beast of a player he was for Chelsea and just for the Premier League in general. Definitely lived up to the hype, in my opinion, that he had back then. Obviously, literally right after this season, he went to Chelsea. Um, during the 12-13 season. But anyways, let's get on to the next 31 pack, starting off with the Gareth Barry pack. Let's see if these 31 packs can live up to the hype. Um, I don't know. Hopefully we, hopefully they can. Hopefully we can get some Masters at least um, in these next 31 packs. We've only gotten one so far. I was saying hopefully we can get five. But let's see. Um, our first few base cards there. Ozil, Anderson... And Pablo Hernandez, uh, um, he was at Swansea, of course, for a brief spell. Next pack there. Uh, we got Clarence Shadoff there. Wow. Um, 
That's really cool card there. Uh, Nesic, Ryan Giggs base card. Lasovic, Jovino, and Fernandinho when he was at Shakhtar as well. Lots of good Brazilian players came from Shakhtar Donetsk. Fernandinho, William, Douglas Costa, um, um, Alex Terreira, I believe that's his name. Or something like that, Terreira. Yeah, quite a few good Brazilian players came from there actually. Uh, we got Landru, uh, Boateng there for Bayern. Petacek base card, Diego Melito, fantastic striker. Um, yeah, really good striker. Uh, there's a Mele and Anita. Next pack up, we got Matt Tummels, Kiersling, Ika Casillas, um, base card there. Look at that, 90 on the fence. Really was, in my opinion, probably the best goalkeeper in the world at that time. Uh, Kani, Diara, and we got Jordan Ayu, rising star for Olympic Marseille there. Um, definitely d didn't live up to his potential, I would say. Oh, well, I don't know, to be honest, whether he even had that much potential back then, because... He wasn't really talked about back then. I remember players like Tony Cruz, Eden Hazard were definitely talked about, but him, not so much, as far as I can remember. But next up, we got Pedro Rodriguez, um, Pedretti, uh, Melito, Desmeli, Carlos Tevez there, and William again. Let's put these in another pile now. Oh, great. Wow, these packs are actually kind of tough to open, as you can see here. Um, definitely not as easy as the new paper packets now. Okay, we finally got that one open. And first up, we got Thomas Muller for Bayern, Ruffles, uh, Antonio da Silva, Ricardo Cavallo, Gignac, and Seleznov. Wow, we're really not getting not much from these next 31 packs so far so far not the best of sorts we're just gaining a whole load of base packs here hopefully this pack now we can get something good and we start off with philip long van bommel zapata mandanda zanetti and looks like it is an insert Val Buena, um, fans' favorite card for Pick Marseille. So that's, well, I think that's our first insert card so far in this opening. Like, good one, I would say. Not one of these ones. Oh my god. I may have to get scissors to open some of these packs right now because these packs are actually a struggle to open. Okay. Next up, we got Grahovac, Abidal, Inla, Aguero, Cristito, another insert card. And it is Michael Essien, fans' favourite card for Chelsea. So that's a fantastic card there. Uh, definitely was loved by the Chelsea fans, that's for sure. And one of our best ever midfielders to play for the club. I believe he actually left, literally, during the January transfer window. So he never was a part of the Chelsea Champions League winning squad. Could be wrong there. But next pack, look who we got again. Michael Essien, fans' favourite. That's just bad luck, I guess. Um, and our remaining base card here. Juan Mata for Chelsea. Fantastic player for Chelsea. Definitely, uh, when he was at Chelsea, um, one of the best players, without a doubt. Um, not too sure what's up there, actually. Um, but yeah, he was one of the best Chelsea players, without a doubt, at Chelsea. At least his whole time at Chelsea, he was our best player, I'll tell you, without a doubt. Um, but next pack, we got another insert card. We're getting inserts now, really, really like consecutively, which is great news. Uh, we got fans' favorite here, Theo Walcott for Arsenal. Wow, um, yeah, that's pretty. That's a very good card to get there. Um, and a remaining base card, Thiago Mata in there, and Kaka for Real Madrid. Wow, that's really awesome. They're one of my favorite players as well of all times. Always was a big Kaka fan. Um, particularly during his days when he was at AC Milan and of course for Brazil. Uh, next up we got Ambrosini, Honda, Denisov, Rosicki, Guarin and Jonas. So unfortunately back to base packs. Oh.
Next pack up, we got Melberg, Fernando Torres again. Uh, we got Kershakov, uh, Arshavin, Varela, and Serrero for Ajax. Uh, I'm hoping we can at least get close to completing the base set, at least the base set, at least because we're getting quite a few duplicates uh, for the base cards. As you can see here, we literally got all of these players already in this opening. I think. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get close to completing the base. I would say at least maybe ninety five percent, which does sound somewhat optimistic. But we are getting a lot of base cards. Whoops. Uh, next pack. It is something good, as you can already tell from the front of the pack. Um, well from the back of the pack but yeah anyways we got another master card here and it is Edin Dzeko from Manchester City there fantastic player he was for them very underrated in my opinion during his spell at Manchester City and yeah that's a fantastic card to get really happy with that our second master of the opening yeah that's fantastic and here are our remaining base cards there Ashley Young Manchester United legend of course Hopefully we can get another master at least within these next 31 within this this batch of packs and here are our base cards i think we're just going to skip through the base cards to be honest we're getting a lot of the same ones already as you can see so yeah we're just going to go through them we're only going to go through the inserts i think and we've got another insert in this pack a very recognizable player this time it is fernandinho fans favorite card for shakhtar donetsk and we've got our remaining base cards there, Ivanovic in there, Ferdinand, and Gattuso at the front, of course. Milner, and that's about it, to be honest there. And yeah, this video is actually going quite long. I never realized it was going for this long now, almost half an hour in. And we're not, we are not even halfway yet, I believe. Uh, we got Cuba there, that's Blazikowski actually. Um, Mykon. And we got Rising Star, Luke Castiagnos for Inter Milan there. Don't actually quite remember him, to be honest. Um, yeah, I really don't remember him. I can't remember if he done well at Intel. How's he doing right now in his career? But I have not heard of him back then. And I haven't heard of him now. So probably not that great. Uh, Boateng in there. And we end with Matthew. Next up. Hakan Thief, Schweinsteiger, Young, Lucio, another insert card, and it is El Shorari, um, rising self for AC Milan, another young player with bags of potential, never quite lived up to the hype, um, not to say that he hasn't been good, he has had some good performances um, over the years, but yeah, he definitely did not live up to the hype that he had Um Unfortunately, because he actually looked to be a very promising player, actually. I think he's now currently at Roma, I think. I could be wrong there. Anyways, next pack. Hopefully we get something good in this one. Uh, Antal, Busquet, Debussy, Diara, Mota. We've got an insert card here. And it is... Wow, another Master card there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Master card. That's really awesome there. And that's our second master card in within these 31 packs. And yeah, what a fantastic one it is. Latan Ibrahimovic master card. Wow. That's really good. 99 on attack, as you can see there. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um yeah, that's really good. That's fantastic. Zlatan Ibrahimovic master card. Another fine addition to my collection. And hopefully it doesn't end there. Next up, Boateng. Check. Abiati, Vermaelen, Walcott and Costa. Not Diego Costa, of course. Or Douglas, Ricardo.
insert card and it is Danny Star player for Zenit St. Petersburg so that's pretty good I believe we haven't gotten him yet in this opening so that's good news Ramirez in there Fabianski Walcott another star player here and it is Xavi Hernandez star player card for Barcelona there that's really good to get um, I'm quite surprised actually though because I honestly thought Messi was the star player for this collection not Xavi um, so yeah I will have to kind of check into that one actually but I always thought it was Messi that was the star player for this collection um, but next pack here we got a fans favourite definitely one loved by the Manchester United fans and very much missed uh, Nemanja Vidic for Manchester United as you can see there so that's pretty good and there's our remaining base of course we probably got all of those actually at least once in this opening next up and Christian Eriksen back when he was at Ajax now currently of course at uh, Inter Milan Another Inter card looks to be a decent one. It is the Sanctis goal stopper for Napoli. There, um, I believe he was also at Roma. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was also at Roma. So that's pretty decent to get there. Alexis Sanchez at Barcelona, Didier Drogba, Ramos, and Valero. So some really good cards in there. Actually, we don't believe we've gotten Sanchez, Drogba, or Ramos yet in this opening. So that's fantastic news. Next up, we got De Gebo, Piquet, Landru, De Gea, Bruno Alves, and another insert card, uh, Siena, star player for Shakhtar Donetsk. And our final, final pack for these uh, second batch of 31 packs. Let's see if we can get something relatively decent um, within here. Uh, Bender in there, Renaccia, Hart. Rami, so yeah, no inserts unfortunately. But yeah, very good batch. I'll say we definitely got quite a few fan favourite cards. Uh, I believe we got one ghost up or did we get Mendan in this batch as well? I don't think we did. Um but we got two master cards, Latin and uh Jaco. So yeah, pretty good. Um not as good as the previous batch I would say in general though, but uh not a bad batch as well. Not bad at all. On to our final batch now, the last 31 packs. Hopefully, we can improve upon the first and second batch, uh, particularly the second. But uh, honestly, looking back, it's not so bad. We've got two master cards in it, so it's not the end of the world. But we solved this one with a, with a bang, I would say. Uh, Constanzo Goldstopper there for Olympiaco, so that's very decent. And we got our other base cards there, which I believe we've all gotten, except for Remy, actually. At Olympic Marseille there, I'm not too sure what's happened to him um, at the moment, but I remember he did get bought by Chelsea, but pretty much flopped there. Um, Cambiaso, Carrick, Puyo, only 82 on defence, that's kind of harsh for Puyo to be honest. Another insert card, this is very nice. We got Mal Malafev, uh, probably butchered that name, but yeah, a uh, goal stopper there for Zen at St. Petersburg. So another goal stopper, really good. You haven't got quite a lot of them, so it would be good to get a few more goal stoppers actually. Okay, next up, we've got Bus, <laughs> uh, Fabregas in there as well, Payet, Jisung Park, and our insert card. One that we did talk about already in this video. Uh, Douglas Costa, rising star for Shakhtar Donetsk. Obviously, we haven't packed him, but we mentioned him. Um, there he is at Shakhtar. He moved over to, I think it was Bayern afterwards. Or was it Juventus? Can't quite remember. I think it was Juventus and then he went to Bayern. Actually, I could be wrong there. Or he just transferred to Bayern straight away. Um, but yep, yeah, next pack in. All of these players we've gotten already. Except for this guy here, a rising star who definitely did not live up to his full potential 
uh, Mario Goetze, rising star for Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, that Dortmund here went to Bayern, went back to Dortmund, and yeah, but definitely one of the reasons why his career didn't go too well was mainly due to injury, and yeah, unfortunately, he never lived up to the hype. But he did score the winning goal in the World Cup, though, so it wasn't all too bad for him, I guess. I guess scoring that goal makes up for it. Uh, we end this pack with Eduardo, though, of course, he used to play for Arsenal there for a brief time. Had a pretty bad injury there, I believe, um, as I remember, actually. He had a pretty bad injury. So, yeah, I guess that's why he never lasted long there, just too injury prone, I guess. Same with this guy as well, another injury prone player, Pato in there. Only played one game for Chelsea and scored, a, well, was it one game or two games? I can't quite remember, but yeah, he scored a penalty. So, um, not the end of the world. And wow, we got a fantastic card here. One I actually was hoping to get within these packs, uh, this master card. And it is Mesut Ozil, master card for Real Madrid. Absolutely fantastic card there, 82 defence, 92 attack, 99 control, that's a really good card to get, very very happy with this one, uh, this was one of the ones I actually wanted to get actually because I really did love this guy when he was at uh, Real Madrid, not to say that he didn't do well as Arsenal but obviously as a Chelsea fan I don't want to see um, good, um, good players like this guy do well for Arsenal but started off pretty well, hasn't been in the best of form like the past couple of seasons but you know, he still definitely has some talent, I would say, but unfortunately he's getting on a bit, so, yeah. But let's not forget this guy at Real Madrid, him and Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo, they definitely were something else together in Real Madrid. Uh, we got another internet card, looks like a goal stopper. It is a Vermeer goal stopper for Ajax there. This one's a little bit damaged, actually, I believe, in the corner. Uh, yeah, you can see it's a little bit creased in the corner, unfortunately. Kind of annoying there, but uh, we'll still keep it anyway. On to the next pack. we got another goal stopper in this one. And it is Helton goal stopper for Porto there. Uh, I don't remember much about this guy, but must have been pretty decent, I guess. Um, considering he was at Porto, of course. Porto being a very good club um, at this point in time. Obviously, just a uh, well, we quite a while now, but um, they won the Champions League, of course, with Jose Mourinho in 2004 2005. Our next pack here is just an all base pack, unfortunately. Yeah, my, yeah, the floors are as um, I would show you, but yeah, the floor is very messy right now, just covered in empty packets. So, yeah. Um, but we're pretty close to the end of this opening now guys so if you are enjoying it please drop a massive thumbs up very much appreciated and do subscribe to the channel and definitely drop a thumbs up because we just got Wayne Rooney star player here from Manchester United so that's really good there next packet up it looks like we can probably get uh, the five master cards that I predicted um, at the start of the video, we're right now on four, so who knows? And what the hell is this? <laughs> Whoa, is this from the pack or something? One of the cards can't actually quite tell, I don't think it is, but wow, that's very interesting. There, we'll leave that there. <laughs> wow, um, next up, our base card here, nothing that we haven't gotten already, but this is the card we haven't gotten yet. David Silva, star player for Manchester City, definitely, in my opinion, worthy of that star player card. Um, was without a doubt Manchester City's best player um, during that, that time. Um, also alongside with uh, Sergio Aguero as well and Yaya Torre. They actually had a pretty good, good squad back then. It's just crazy to see how much how good their squad is just right now. Um, but next up, we also got another star player here. Um, Ga um, Gabriel star player, I'm not going to say the last name there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. What club is that actually? I'm quite intrigued. Oh, Telul Galati. I have no clue. I have no clue. I, that was probably their first time in the Champions League this during this collection. Wow. Guys, we got something else. Another master. And it is Lucio for Inter Milan there. Fantastic centre-back. An absolute beast there. 
a beast for both uh, Inter and Brazil, of course. Yeah, what a fantastic card that is. 95 on defense there. Um, yeah, that's really good to get. And that's our fifth master of the opening. So we got the prediction, which is really good news, of course. Um, and who knows, we still could potentially get another one in this opening. There's still quite a few packs left. Who knows, we could also get a master. Anyways, next up. So what are we going here? Um, Nesta, fantastic defender. And yes, we do get an Inter card. It is Federico Fernandez for Napoli, rising star card there. Another player I don't quite remember, um, even when he was at Napoli. Um, and what happened to his career after that, actually. So for those of you guys that are more knowledgeable than me, uh, do let me know. Because uh, I'm quite intrigued, actually. Must have been a decent player, considering he was at Napoli. And Napoli at that point in time were a very, very uh, good club. Had a lot of good players, of course. Um, but yeah, onto this next pack now. We got Antal, Busquets, Lescott, Santana, Ferdinand. Another insert card here. Um, Mavuba, star player for Lille. This is, of course, the club where Eden Hazard was at. And we got his rising star card in this opening already. Wow. Um, actually, to be honest, if we get a top master in these packs now, then I definitely would say that th this last batch of 31 packs has been the best. And yeah, we're getting the best cards and best players, of course. Another top player here, Arjun Robben, uh, star player for Bayern, of course, had a fantastic uh, campaign during this season of the Champions League. But unfortunately, in the final, just couldn't quite score the penalty. Um yeah, against Chelsea. Next up, Mikel in there. And Rai Baka for Shakhtar. So no, just a base pack there, unfortunately. And do stay tuned for our binder and trade up there. I do have a temporary binder for this collection, of course. Um, and I will most likely have a lot of trades for this collection. So do stay tuned for that. And yeah, um, that will be a video coming soon to the channel. Uh, we got a rising star here, the Zagorev for CSK. Very decent player actually. Not quite world class, but not terrible either. Definitely much more of a memorable, much more of a memorable player than some of those other rising stars in there. Um, next up, we got an insert card, and it is fans' favorite card. Uh, Kurchakov for Zenit St. Petersburg there. So that's pretty decent. And our remaining base cards. I think we have maybe like around uh, 8 packs left. 8, 9. Um, so yeah, we are closing into the end of this opening now, guys. Uh, I know it's been quite a long one. It is a long video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but... If there's one positive, at least it's, you know, ad-free, I guess. Um, but yep, yeah, next up we got um, Embrishilo, rising star here for Ajax. Another player that I don't actually know how well his career has gone. But surely must have been somewhat decent, I guess, um, considering he was at Ajax. But yeah, unfortunately I just can't remember him. Can't remember him off the top of my head. Um, but another insert card here, we've got Eva Benigo, fans' favourite card for Valencia. And our remaining base cards, Rolando in there. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten that many, we haven't gotten like a Messi or Ronaldo yet. Obviously, I, I think both of them would be the star players, but Messi would have been the star player, we've got Xavi on it already. So Messi is the base card, I believe. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I was also always certain that Messi would have been the star player. And Ronaldo, of course, being the star player as well for Real Madrid. Um, but we have we are yet to get him. And, oh my god, this is probably the master card that I wanted. Frank Lampard, master card for Chelsea. Wow. Now, of course, Chelsea manager, of course. And, yeah, he's done pretty well for, with Chelsea, I would say. Um, but, yeah, what a card there. 
that is really epic really happy about that frank lampard mastercard and yeah i think this potentially now just because of that card um this is probably the best batch of the 31 packs i would say even though we got chevy master in the first batch um in terms of actually a player iconic to me um not to say that Xavi is an icon, but a, a player that I favourite more. Uh, definitely Frank Lampard. Um, but yeah, that, that's awesome. And we've got a rising star here. Another player with bags of potential. And had a fantastic game against Barcelona a few years back. Jack Wilshire, rising star for Arsenal. Um, another player that never lived up to his potential, mainly due to injuries, of course. Um, but who knows, if it wasn't for the injuries, how well would he have got, gotten could have been something really special um but yeah we got benzema and then nanny and a star player here for of by leverkusen michael balak what a beast of a midfielder for those of you guys that do remember him of course guy was an absolute beast really good midfielder played for leverkusen as you can see there uh before that bayern i mean before that chelsea and then before that it was bayern so and obviously a beast for the german national team as well but on to the last few packs, the third to last pack. Uh, we got a Nasovic fans' favourite card there with 86 on attack and 82 in defence, considering he was a centre back. So that's pretty interesting. I don't remember him being a goal scoring centre back. Um, but if he was, that would be pretty interesting, actually. I don't quite remember. Might be because he took penalties or free kicks. Um, I, I'm not sure. But second to last pack. Um, yeah, nearing the end of this opening now, and we end it hit this one with a base pack. And the last packet, guys, please drop a massive thumbs up on this video. This has been a long video, I know, probably for some of you guys. For me as well, opening these packs all in one go. Let's actually try and open it from the front here, just in case we may end up with something good. Um, try to open it at least. There we go. Who knows, we could get another master in here. No, we don't. It's a base pack. We ate and end it off with Daily Blend. And yes, wow. Um, I'm out of breath, Jesus. Uh, that's the end of this opening. Let's put all of our foil cards together and just have a rundown of what exactly we got. We got quite a few of them, actually. Not as many as I would have gotten if I were to open some of the, you know, Euro packs right now. I definitely would have gotten a lot more foil cards than that. But considering this is an older collection, um, I would say we got quite a few. But anyways, we got the one top master there. Lampard, Lucio, Erzo, Ibra, Dzeko, Giggs, master cards. Uh, how many was that? Six in the end. We definitely beat the five that I predicted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 fans favorite cards and we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, only 8 goal stoppers in there. Uh, let me just get a pack off the ground quickly, see if we did manage to beat any of the ratios. Uh, we definitely beat the masters ratio without a doubt. Uh, we got the one top master we were meant to get. Uh, one in every 10 packs we opened um 93 we should have got nine so i don't believe we actually beat the goal stoppers two three four five six seven eight now nah, we missed out on one a bit frustrating and fans favorites one in every seven um let's see one two three four five six seven eight twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I think we did beat it actually for the fans favorite so that's good news and then we got our star players and rising stars which can't be asked to check um but yeah that's it for this opening guys if you enjoyed drop a massive thumbs up on this video and you know if i can get a few more of these packs then i definitely will get them and if i can get any of the other products with this collection such as a starter pack or um yeah anything else i'll definitely open those on those channel but for now there will be a bind and trade update for this collection so do stay tuned for that and i will see you guys again until the next video so yeah take care guys and peace